Okay, hi guys. Listen, um, if you've come to this video and you haven't watched the part one and two that I did before, right before this one, please go watch those first. Okay, very important. All right, now this video we're going to get back to some descriptions more. So as you're going to 5D, you are going to have um, areas that are going to be brand new to you that you're you're going to uh, that you're not going to understand, but but you will understand it because although it's moving quickly, everything is done so that it makes sense. Okay, it's like things like um, solids and liquids and gas. Okay, there was a time when people only understood um, solids and liquids. Even then they didn't understand the most, most about, much about them. But they didn't understand gas at all, right? Because it's invisible. You can't see it. We had to figure that out. But once we figured it out, now everybody knows that there's solids and there's liquids and there's gas. And you know that uh, water can go from a solid to a liquid to a gas. No big deal, right? Add some water. Put it in, put an ice cube in a pan of water, put some heat on it, and you're going to have that transformation. Now, if you didn't understand the concepts, that would seem very magical, wouldn't it? The water just disappearing and you don't know where it goes. And it goes from this hard, cold thing to flowy stuff. Wouldn't that seem like magic to you? If you didn't understand the concepts, that's how 5D is going to be. There's going to be more, instead of just solid and liquid and gas, there's going to be more of those things. But you're going to understand them as you go. They're going to be explained to you as you go. There's going to be many different ways that are going to be introduced into your life. But if you are focused on what is in this moment, what you've been taught, and you aren't open to these new doors and windows, if you're not open to these new concepts, you won't see them, which is another part of all of this drama, is your choice. Your choice. Am I going to stay embroiled in all of this drama, or am I going to take control of my creationary power as a god and say, that doesn't matter, I'm doing me. Don't care what you're doing, I'm doing me. And what me is, is going to 5D, show me the magic. I am open to the magic. I am willing to see the magic. I am willing to understand the magic. And it's already out there. It's already there. It's on black and white. It is on the internet. Many, many, many concepts are already there for you to see when you're ready to see them. Until you are vibrating at the right place, though, you'll never find them. You'll never find them. You could Google them all day long. I could tell you exactly what to type in, and there would be a technical difficulty. You would not be able to get to it. That's just the way vibrations work. Uh, like is with like. That's just the way it is. So you need to be open to these new concepts and these new things that are going to be introduced to the world and have been and are being introduced to the world right now. That is this crossroad that I was talking about in that last video. You are at a crossroad. You have to choose. Are you going to do it the way that you've always been done? That's always been done? How you've always done it? Well, I think I've said this before. You know the, the uh, definition of insanity is redoing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. And that's what humans are doing. And you've got to decide. Are you going to do what they have told you to do that obviously has not worked? for thousands and thousands of years, or are you going to take control of your life as a creator God and say, nope, I'm ready. Bring it to me. I'm a God. Bring it to me now. And then you have to be ready and willing to listen. Because you are a God, but you're in human form. You have only what you have been taught, only what you believe. And if you're going to change what you create, you have to change what you believe. And the only way that you can change what you believe is to get more information. Now, most people want to go into a meditative state, go on to the other side, and get the information. The trouble with that is things on the other side in the now do not interpret well into this kind of dense energy in linear time space. 
So you can go to the other side in a meditative state and you'll go, whoa, I get it. Okay, I understand it. Now you bring it back here. How do you incorporate that into here? The way you incorporate it into here is step by step because you're still in linear time space. Until you get out of linear time space, you have to do it one thing at a time. Multiple things at a time. Anyway, you have to do them in a row. It's just the way it is. And until you're willing to do that, until you're willing to put in the time to get out of time, then you will be stuck in time. <laughs> That's just the way it works. All right, hopefully y'all got that. If you have any questions, be sure and comment below. Uh, as I said in the last video, I am backed up on my schedule, but Stephanie will get to you, I promise. And this is an important time to talk to somebody, anybody that you can talk to, get to, whoever your most psychic person is that you like uh, to talk to, get, get some information. Things are moving quickly. You can uh, mess it up really easily, guys, and I know everybody that's watching this or who will watch it have worked very hard to uh, raise their vibration. Uh, don't mess it up at the last minute because you know there's no such thing as time. So everything that you've done in the past means nothing. All that matters is right now and right now and right now and right now. You have to do right now over and over and over again. Okay. Love you guys bunches, and I'll talk to y'all soon. I love you so much. Huge hugs. Bye now.